Wait. What the shit? Has someone been going through my room? Doesn't seem like mom. She wouldn't leave a mess like this. Wait. David? That motherfucker. Whatever. I don't have time for this shit. I've gotta help Rachel. Okay. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. He might also be totally pissed about Damon's money. I've got to get this exactly right. I can do this. Price. Oh, Frank. Eager much? Where's the money? I have a question to ask you first. I mean, a favor. You can't be fucking serious. I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I'm trying to help a friend. It would mean a whole lot to her. The girl with you at the mill? <sighs> yeah. I'll be in the junkyard in two hours. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real... <sighs> that went well, I guess. What am I getting myself into? Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. Still can't fucking believe that David went through my stuff. Huh? Mom usually does my laundry when she gets sick of me not doing my laundry. Maybe she believed me for once about never coming back home. If Rachel and I were still leaving today, there's literally nothing in there that's worth taking. Sorry, board. I've got a real ride to fix up now. Have I ever watered that? Better than nothing. So much has changed. I wonder if you'd even recognize me now. I wonder if that's the universe where dad's alive and Rachel has three happy parents. Figures. Um, what? Nice to see my work is appreciated. California, huh? Would be cool to see where Rachel grew up. Inaccurate as of yesterday. 
Someone should update this photo. What do I want the record to show? I'd say I went down in a place of glory. Too early to be up on a Sunday. I'm about to rack up a lot more absences. Is mom playing music? Huh. One day, I'll look at that and think, huh, my old home, and not fuck this shithole forever. So if I put this photo out, mom just hides it in a different drawer? What the hell? I wonder who gave this to mom. Wait, Mom actually sold her ring for $300? Because nothing screams compensating for something like a bright yellow sports car. Sports cars are really good for... Flames. And lots. Of flames. I remember this. Mom loved it. Wait, is today Mother's Day? If it really is moving in. Uh, can I just give that to mom again for Mother's Day? Is getting out of here still in my future? Or is this picture the closest I'll ever get? Either way, we're fixing that truck from the junkyard. Is that David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Okay, my towel's probably... No awesome pirate towel. I truly hate seeing so much of David's shit around here. Lots of washcloths. No towel. Gross. I believe Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute.
Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate, but we never got around ready for the best shower of my life. I need new clothes. What do I feel like wearing on this crazy ass day? Alright, one last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. Dad's favorite jacket. Definitely taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid mom or David? <laughs> <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet. I told you three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> you know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now.
Hey, who's there? Hey. <laughs> Chloe! Your hair! When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did, but this is, uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. Good to see you, Chloe. Coming home was a smart decision. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you, sweetheart. I... Uh, I didn't get you anything. Having you back home is present enough. I'm just here to pick up something. Then I, uh, uh, have to go. Are you coming home tonight? Mom, I... I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh, how is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. It won't take but a minute. Mom. I don't think this is the best idea. You already promised. <sighs> Chloe, I've made an agreement with your mother to trust you from now on. <laughs> really? What does that mean? It means that from today forward, I'm going to take you at your word. So, if you say you haven't been smoking or drinking, then I'll just leave you be. Even though she had pot yesterday. David, the idea is you should feel comfortable here, Chloe. David's not going to question you, and neither am I. Well, this sounds like it's doomed to fail, but hey, kudos for trying. Chloe. What? I really meant it. Good job. Can we be done now? Wait, one second. Don't go, Chloe. I've been meaning to show you something. Maybe, maybe now's a good time. This is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was killed near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad.
please, I'm begging you, give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Uh, think about what I've said. David looks so young. And this Phil guy. Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right, all right. What the hell? Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. <laughs> What's the matter, David? Don't want any more decorations inside your toolbox? with me here. a bit more love. I can salvage this beast. I just need to find the right tool for each problem. This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. Pretty loose. How can I tighten it? <sighs> Much better. This thing is going to the fuck up. Maybe. Sick.
Looks like someone tried to patch this thing up. Sometime before I was born. At this point, I think that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. Better leave it be. Hmm. <laughs> what do I see? Oh. I know. Nothing doing. Nope. Not gonna help. There. Fits like a deadly electric glove. That should help keep shit distributed. Well, fuck. Go back from once you came. Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course. Please, I need you. Junkyard Queen, where are you at? Hey. Holy shit. Your hair. It's so... <laughs> Badass. <laughs> I was gonna say hot. But, yeah. Badass, too. Hey. Not sure if you saw... But someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out?
Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? What do you think? We're not dealing with a couple of dime bags anymore, Chloe. Where's the money? For fuck's sake, the money wasn't there. What do you want from me? I don't think she has it. Oh? It's cute how she acts like you two are friends. You heard what happened to Drew, right? Maybe try keeping that in mind when you talk to me. Don't fucking touch her. Why is it? that chicks think it's okay to hit me. But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly, it's a whole other thing. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't? Maybe I'll show you. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you, but he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I wanna know, right now, why you give a shit about this woman? Why do you care so much? Because, fuck you. I'm asking the questions here. Look. None of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is. Now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your pro- Rachel? As in, Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon, your dad's a real piece of shit, you know? So? We don't have anything to do with him. Right. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Ah, oh, you fucking bitch! Rachel! Damon! What the fuck? 
fuck! Mm. Chloe! Mm. Go! Mm. Now! Mm. Hold on! Mm. Shit! 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 Chloe... Hey! Just hold on, okay? Rachel? No, no, no! No, I'm not losing you. <laughs> <laughs>